Three, two, one, let's go. What's up everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a new video for you. I'm gonna show you a little trick in Adobe Spark Post. Using the eyedropper, we're going to add our own color branding to a project. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I went to spark.adobe.com and started this project. This is an example, a demo. Let's say this is a furniture company. This right here was started using the templates that come available on the web. Now, again, this is not the brand colors that I want to be using. I'm going to show you actually what I want to be using. Now, this right here is a set of colors that I took using the Adobe Capture application. If you're not familiar with that app, I definitely recommend go check it out. I have a link to it in the description below as well as up here at the top. Now, these are a set of colors that I want to use for my branding. Now, with this application, with the Capture, I'm able to open this up in my Creative Cloud uh, files. If I click through here, I actually can look at the hex code, RGB colors, and so on. Now, I can go ahead and just copy and paste into the other project, but it kind of takes a little bit of time. Now, I'm going to show you a little quick shortcut, a little hack here. So what I'll do here is actually take a screenshot of these colors. My next step is to actually head back to my project here. And what I'm going to do is actually import that screenshot that I took to this project. Here we have the screenshot of colors. I'm going to move them out of the way and actually going to hold the space bar and move this over here just a bit so we have more room to see all over here on the right. Now, what I'm going to do is tap on this over here. If you see here when I click, this is the background color. Well, let me go ahead and click to edit that background color. There's the dropper. And I'm going to use this color here. Now, if you notice, it looks like there's a background and it looks like there's a shape here. So let's go ahead and click here. This is an icon. This is a shape. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Click edit color, take the dropper. And there we have that new color there. Now I'm going to change the color of this text here. So there we have, it's a, I'm not sure what color that is, but we'll go ahead and click on the edit color. And there is the eyedropper. I'll come over here and choose that red. Now, depending on the, contrast here i may or may not keep this so right now i'm not liking the way that looks so let's go ahead and maybe change it to this other color here let's try that that looks a little bit better we'll do the same thing down here we'll go ahead and take that and adjust it to that now pretty much i've got the colors now that are the brands that this screenshot that i took I wanted to use those colors in my marketing material here. Now, down here at the bottom, this one right here is just your white. I'm going to go ahead and leave that the way it is. So let's say I want to alter the way this looks. Well, then what I'll do is click out here and come over to colors. And if you notice right now, these are the current colors that are in this project. Now, it's got this yellow and that's because it's pulling colors from this picture. So if I do a shuffle here, it's going to alternate the colors based on what's currently on board. Actually, that doesn't look too bad there. I'm gonna shuffle through. Now the yellow again is being brought in from the picture here. So it, it's pulling, the artificial intelligence is pulling colors from that as well. And that looks pretty good there. Again, I'm just gonna shuffle through. And again, if you don't like the way any of this looks, well, then all you do is click on the project over here, or I should say on the icon or file. Again, take the eyedropper, adjust it whichever way you want. Let's say, let's go back here. Eyedropper, I'm liking, let's say this blue here. We'll do this over here. Again, take the eyedropper, match it up. Whoops. Let's make sure I do the same thing here, eyedropper, and we'll match it up. There we go. Whoop. Looks like it's the other one. There we go. And then again, come through and eyedropper as easy as that. Just swap through whichever one you like. And it looks like I think I'm going to like the way this looks now. 
and maybe here we'll go with the white and then all I do is delete that screenshot and now I've got the new colors to my project based on the screenshot of colors that I imported in again you can copy and paste your hex numbers RGB it may take a little bit longer this is kind of a quick shortcut and there you have a quick tip on how to use the color dropper to add your own branding colors to your projects in Adobe Spark Post. If you have any questions about this video, please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, and please do share this video with others. Thanks again for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace.